Yes, you can bear diseases model, but this is a new release from Brain Gun. As you can see, it's Yokosuka MXY7, Oka model 11, the brazen kit, which is molded in 144 scale. And it's quite small box, I mean, compare it with my hand, it's really small, it's tiny. And what we have on the other side, some safety information, and on the top we have photo of the assembled model. It shouldn't be that big. So, uh, that's traditional side opening box, as you can see here. And inside we will find plenty of resin parts, uh, some key parts, decals, and here are resin parts. And also here is quite tiny assembly manual. I mean, size of the model corresponds with the size of the instructions. So let's open the first bag. Bags are secured as usually with the staple clips, which are not that easy to open and not that nice to deal with, I would say. But still, we've got scissors so you open it easily. Inside of the first bag we can see plenty of the resin parts but digitalization won't be that uh, cool I would say. So first we have here is a fuselage part. As you can see it's molded as a one piece that can be considered as a for sure as an advantage because you won't have to deal with some seams or something else. Here is some as you can see exhausts. Uh, of course there is almost no cockpit digitalization or there is mm, you wouldn't believe me but there is cockpit digitalization. Uh, here is a dashboard and some rudder pedals are present. Here I have um, resin wheels, oh, I mean wings, and as you can see there are features some recess panel lines, even the ailerons are modes like as a single piece and here as well. And I would say the quality is really nice. Even the shape is replicated really carefully. Look here. And then we have some minor parts. Uh, tail planes and rudders which are molded on the separate base and they're approximately on the same level of digitalization as the two parts, I mean three parts which I shown before. Then we have separate uh, small, very small decal sheet. Just give me a moment. I have to open somehow this tiny bag. Okay, first we have P for it which is not that big but it features plenty of parts especially if we consider the scale of the model there is huge amount of them seat is present here is some even seat straps um, some external parts so get ready for some action with a magnifying glass and tweezers I mean otherwise you won't be able to even to touch them Then we have decals and canopy. I would say canopies because there are two pieces of these parts. Uh, they are bucky formed as you can see and maybe as usual with these bucky formed parts you can like cut them and have an open part, open canopy. And here we have quite a modest uh, decal sheet, as you can see, it's even shorter than the paper, and there are just eight symbols present. 
Then we have assembly manual, which as I say, it is really small and assembly process um, should be really easy. I mean, easy in terms of amount of parts you would have to apply, but as you can see, the size of the parts would make it a bit difficult for the newcomers. I would say this build is more for the experienced modelers. Other than that, as you can see, it's really nice. Nothing to complain about. A bit surprising is that, yeah, it's written here that painting overall white grey and exhaust pipes should be neutral, natural metal. So I was going to say that there are no mention of the needed colors, but as you can see, they are present here. So I guess this small kit would make a really interesting addition to your collection. And the only thing that you have to expect is uh, work with those tiny parts. I mean, it's really crazy. I, I, we have to admit this. Uh, that's all for the video review. Don't forget to check full article on our website. And I would like to thank you for watching this video. And see you soon. Bye.